The citrus family of fruits are prized for their tart and sweet flavour with an unmistakable citrusy kick. You can find them in many places in many forms. At the markets, incorporated into perfumes, made into marmalade, and even in your glass of orange juice. But where does all this versatility and diversity come from? Let's take a deeper look to uncover the ancestry behind that glass of orange juice by diving into the genetic basis of the citrus family tree. There are three ancestral species of true citrus, the pomelo, citron, and mandarin. Another species, C. mercantha, was also included in recent taxonomical models, as science will always move when new evidence comes to light. Modern citrus species have come about through the hybridizing of ancient species as they spread across Southeast Asia from what was likely a northeastern Indian or eastern Himalayan hotspot. Much of the genetic variation can be accounted by backbreeding of their descendants. This is known as introgression. We have purposely bred and backcrossed citrus species to select for specific features. Domesticating species to be bigger, less seedy, juicier, and so on. However, this marks a hitch into our look into the citrus family's past. When records of cultivation are lost to time or predate even recorded agriculture, how can we know the truth of the citrus lineage? This is where the powerful field of genomics comes in. In 2014, an international collaboration headed by Dr. G. Albert Wu and Dr. Simon Proshnik set out to map the genomes of various citrus species. Using spreadshot gene sequencing techniques, the team logged the nuclear and chloroplast genomes of a variety of modern pomelos, oranges, and mandarin. These citrus species inherit nine chromosomes and are diploid like us, receiving one copy from the maternal plant and one copy from the paternal plant. Looking at the inheritance source of the homologous regions can clue us in to the parentage of a species. Let's start with the pomelo nuclear sequences. Among the two sequenced pomelos, there was a consistently high level of low heterozygosity, which means that the homologous chromosomes are sourced from pomelos at both copies. Having pomelo sequences at both locations, homozygosity, reveals a pattern consistent with a history of pure pomelo lineage, as any heterozygous sites would imply interspecies admixture. Knowing this, you may think that modern mandarins are their own pure line as well. Scientists believe that some species have pure mandarin lines, but the sequencing reveals opposing evidence. All mandarins sequenced here, even traditional cultivars suspected to be pure lines, had dispersed regions of introgression with the pomelo line. These are characterized by hubs of high heterozygosity that indicate ancestral mandarin and pomelo genes at the same location, only possible in interbreeding. Oranges end up in the middle of these two citrus species, genetically speaking. Much of the genome of the sweet orange and sour sevil orange consisted of pomelo mandarin mixing within the chromosomes. This indicates there is complex introgression of pomelos and mandarin within the heritage of our commercial sweet oranges, the ones you're likely thinking of when it comes to fruits and in juices. Surprisingly, the team found many similar gene variants between sweet oranges and mandarins, especially the pongan. Another clue for sweet orange ancestry is chromosome 2, where a region of pomelo-pomelo sequence exists in the diploid genome. This means that both parents require some pomelo heritage themselves. Using these clues, the team concluded that sweet oranges are likely a cross between a sweet orange and pongkan ancestry species, with the pomelo highly introgressed with mild mandarin. Despite the murkiness of exact parent identities, we are still making progress. Parental and ancestral species genomes have been partially recreated, pieces of the ancestral C. reticulata being stitched together from modern mandarin sequences. This will help us discover and identify pure specimens when we come across them. Genetic sequencing of citrus varieties can also combat crop viruses and disease using greater understandings of natural resistance pathways. And this is just the beginning. Parts of this team have, with new collaborators, made even more extensive characterizations of citrus evolution. In their following publications, they have analyzed over 50 citrus genomes with 30 new sequences to construct a more detailed picture of how different citrus species are related. After all, citrus taxonomy is an evolving field. There is so much detail that is yet to be discerned, and researchers are on the cutting edge of genetics to discern the truth. Hopefully now, as you stare back into your glass of orange juice, you are able to appreciate the long and storied history 
behind the genetic basis of citrus taxonomy and the humble orange.